Storm Team 3 weather with Audrey Pentecost. Hi, I'm meteorologist Audrey Pentecost. And I'm Ivy Shank. And we're going to go through some 906 Weather Watchers pictures. Uh, this one was actually taken by me, and I did post it on our Weather Watchers page. But I wanted to share this beautiful sunset that we saw earlier today. I got to see it on, the, uh, on our weather camera, and I zoomed in, and I was like, wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> so I had to run out and go see it. So <laughs> Yeah, as you were running out, Audrey goes, Ivy, come look at the sunset. <laughs> it was very beautiful. I love a sunset. So Anytime I see one, I've got to go. I've got to go get a picture of it really fast. And that was taken right outside of our local three studio in Marquette. And this is from Kevin Dunham in Munising. Looks like it might be snowing around yeah. this bird. And it looks like he's a little hungry too. This is a beautiful photo. The detail of all of the feathers. Oh yeah, it's very it, the, yes. it's very vibrant it too. Is. Yeah, and you can see like the snow in the background kind of. And it looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, Looks like it could be a little bit cold out there. <laughs> a little? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. And this was sent from Jerry Schultz in Escanaba. And uh, this is a lot of snow, it, it looks is. like. This is beautiful, though. I'd love to take a walk through there through mm -hmm. and look at all the snow on the trees. It would be really lovely. It definitely looks like a winter wonderland mm -hmm. out there. And this was sent from Sally Tapio Smith in the Keweenaw Peninsula. I think she said uh, finally looks a little bit more like Christmas it out does. there. <laughs> it definitely does. It came a little bit later <laughs> this year, it looks like. But this is just such a pretty picture. I think she said that they might have gotten around a foot of snow there wow. uh, and it looks like it was still coming down when this picture was taken. So wow, that looks so great. And the, mm -hmm. the uh, snow on the trees too just yeah. looks so good in this picture. So mm -hmm. I love this picture so much. Thank you so much for sending it in. And this was sent from Robert in Hermansville and I just loved that you can see the nice clear sky mm -hmm. out there because I know it's been kind of hiding from us yeah. over the kind last gloomy. <laughs> Yeah, and it looks like they got some snow there too. You can see it on the trees and on the ground. It just looks absolutely beautiful. If you haven't already joined our 906 Weather Watchers page, we'd love to have you join and we'd love to share your photos too. We love to share photos of nature, of obviously weather and also animals sometimes. We love to have those <laughs> pictures of some animals. For your three things to know, we are still seeing a little bit of some lake effect snow and those temperatures are getting just cold. I was out there earlier and I was freezing. It is cold out yeah. there and those wind chills are getting very low and they're going to continue to get very low. So we can go ahead and zoom in and you can see um, we're under a winter weather advisory in Ontonagon, Northern Houghton, Keweenaw, Alger, Luce and Chile. Chippewa counties and that's going to expire tomorrow at 7 a.m. And this is because you could still see a couple of inches on top of what has already fallen of that lake effect snow. You could still see some more snow falling and even some more gusty winds as well. So it could be a little bit more dangerous to travel in these areas. So make sure that if you do have to go outside and travel, make sure you're very careful tonight if you have to. And also a wind chill advisory for Gogebic County and that's because of these just very, very low wind chills that we're going to be seeing. Your temperatures right now, it is just downright cold out there. Negative two degrees in Ironwood right now, six degrees in Marquette, three degrees in Sawyer International, and one degree in Menominee. And those temperatures are just going to continue to go down tonight. We're going to see temperatures mostly drop down into the single digits for your lows tonight and even below zero for some of us, even though some of us already are below zero. Taking a look at our wind chill forecast, this is obviously not the actual temperature of the air, but this is going to be how it feels because of that wind that's whipping through tonight and also because of those very, very cold temperatures. So we could see those wind chills get down to even negative 32 in Ironwood and that is tonight or as you wake up tomorrow morning. So again, it is just going to be just downright cold out there. So if you have to go out throughout the, these next two days, make sure that you are bundled up because again, even into Monday night, we're going to see those wind chills get down to even at negative 30 degrees in Marquette, negative 30 in Ironwood, and negative 32 degrees in Iron River. Again, just very, just bitterly cold temperatures out there and also bitterly cold wind chills. Throughout your Tuesday, you're going to continue to see those very cold wind chills, even below negative 15 throughout your Tuesday. 
Moving on to our extended forecast tonight in the Keweenaw Peninsula, we're going to see those lows mostly get down to the single digits. Highs for tomorrow around 10 degrees, 6 degrees for your high on it Tuesday. And then we're going to stay mostly in the teens for the rest of your week, and you do have a chance for some snow for the rest of your week. Closer to the Michigan-Wisconsin border tonight, temperatures will drop down to below zero, even Thir negative 13 degrees in Ironwood, negative 8 in Iron River. Again, it's going to be very cold in this region. Highs for tomorrow are going to be mostly in the single digits. 2 degrees on Tuesday is your high, and then you're going to stay in the teens for the rest of your week. Close to Lake Michigan tonight, temperatures will drop down into the single digits or below zero. Highs for tomorrow around 10 degrees, 5 degrees for your high on Tuesday, and then sticking around the teens for the rest of your week. In the eastern UP tonight, temperatures will drop down to the single digits, the low single digits even in Germany. Fask and Curtis highs for tomorrow in the in the lower teens highs for Tuesday six degrees and then you're going to stay in the teens for the rest of your week in Alger County tonight temperatures will drop down to the single digits highs for tomorrow around 10 degrees or a couple degrees above seven degrees for your high on Tuesday and then warming up just slightly into the teens for the rest of your week in Marquette County tonight away from the lakes temperatures will drop down to below freezing highs for tomorrow will get up to the single digits three degrees for your high on Tuesday and then staying around the teens for the rest rest of your week in the upper terrain areas tonight temperatures will drop down below zero highs for tomorrow in the single digits two degrees for your high on Tuesday and then sticking around the teens for the rest of your week closer to the lakeshore tonight in Marquette County tonight temperatures will drop down to the single digits highs for tomorrow in the upper single digits five degrees for your high on Tuesday and then sticking around the teens for the rest of your week.